Oh. We are back. Uh, live already. Let me put in, let me share a little bit. So the treasure no shaking. Hold on. You're shaking me, treasure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to uh, the Voice of Sino in the diaspora. It's the uh, it's a uh, coverage coming out right now the presidential elections of the Liberian Association of Pennsylvania. And, uh, our polls are currently closed, and so. Right now, we're just waiting for uh, the election results uh, to come out. You see the building over there. Let me turn the camera around. All right, so you see where they got the Church of the Living God. Uh, that's where the people cast the ballot today. See that? What happened? You want to put it in the car? Okay. Okay. Huh? It's the same place. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Voice of Sano here. Uh, it's the post-election coverage. Uh, we will just be going around here to to hear people projections. You know, people will be projecting who's the winner uh, prediction. Yeah, people will be making predictions around here. That's a voice of sound of First Lady. You saying something? Okay. Yeah, so the we're just going around here. You see, uh, people are celebrating here. Uh, it's a post-election celebration. People are celebrating and waiting for the results uh, right now. <laughs> So we are coming to you live from uh, Southwest Philadelphia. Uh, we're just going to be going around here to get a uh, prediction uh, from people. The polls are now closed. You see the gentleman right here uh, on camera that's way about 40. He's one of the guys on the ballot. And we are now anxiously, uh, anxiously waiting for the results here. Uh, so, Shed, if you want to know the results... After Liberian Association of Pennsylvania. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we are hearing projection here. Let's see, let's see. Maybe you have to be careful. Uh, let, let's see what it the Maybe you have to be careful. Uh, let's say we are hearing we are hearing uh, breaking news here. Uh, uh, Siande, that's uh, that's the Roman we are hearing. Uh, it's not confirmed. Huh? Yeah, so if you, yeah, I mean I'll hold it. Yeah. Let, let's see what's going on here. As, yes, the, the lady we are told is a projection on official results coming out here. Ms. Seyonde, we are told she is the victor. Yeah, we, it's not confirmed yet. We are waiting for uh, the Electoral Commission to announce the official result. But there's speculation 
that we are having right now is that uh, Mexican Day is the is the victor here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's confirm the the information over there. What are the information in the valley? We don't know for sure. That we are waiting for. Manas Day. Use yet. I'm just cleaning up and waiting for the result. Okay. Okay. All right. So we we don't know for sure. It's not confirmed yet. I just saw asked the Kennedy here, and she said she hasn't gotten official results. She's just cleaning up. Yeah. Don't tell me to shut up. Hey, hey, boss, what's this? Boss, give my heart, sweetheart. Give my heart. What's the celebration about? It's about because we know the community has met it goal. Yes. And the email agenda of this community is to have a female representative. And now we're having a female representative. A female that has a track record. And I'm here to defend that record. Sayani has won the election. How do, how do you know for sure? Reliable information. From where? Reliable. From where? Well, give, give her the soul. Sayoni has won. Okay, okay. So, so is, that, is, that, is that a speculation? Yes, take okay. it. Sayoni okay, won. speculation here. Sayoni has won, we, we are told here. Uh, what are you hearing, sir? Speculation. Nothing confirmed yet. So I told my supporter, by the way, I'm running as a board member. Christopher Swan, Sayoni, and Sano Kim. So I'm telling my supporters to remain calm. That not we're not going to act speculation. We believe in real data, so we didn't get an actual result before we can jubilate so much. What are the results coming up? Uh, well, we will see the bill maybe next 30 minutes, I will assume. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, let's, let's see, let's see. Solo, what is going on? Uh, okay. <laughs> what, what are you hearing? Um, um, uh, as what I'm hearing, I didn't hear it from the actual election commission that Sandy and uh, Sonal Johnson won the election. So you, you believe that information? It hasn't been given from the election commission, so um, it's only hearsay. Okay, so you're adopting the information, the validity of the information? Um, I'm listening to it. But, what, what, you you for the full team, right? Okay, so you, you don't believe the speculation that's coming up? I'm not I don't believe it, but for me to actually engage in it, I have to hear it from the election commission for me to be able to give you my response to okay, it. Okay. Okay. All right. So you you you're suspending judgment right now. I'm I'm not suspending. I'm just on hold because I want to hear it from the election commission. Okay. Excellent. All right. All right. Let's see, uh, guys. Uh, guys, we 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 uh, we are it's uh, the the Liberian Association and Pennsylvania presidential election. Uh, we are waiting for the results right now. Uh, sooner rather than later, the Electoral Commission will be coming out with updates. Uh, so right now we are hearing speculation. Uh, Team Sayande won the election, but we don't want to give it credence until we get uh, the actual facts from... Uh, uh, this gentleman is a little upset. We don't know what... Uh, How are you doing? Man? Any projection from the election? Can you make any projection? The election commission had that wrong. What, the, the project, what, what's going on, sir? The election commission chairman had no right coming outside to tell somebody you follow a good fight. You could be a loser from finding a good fight. It means you could, you could be a loser. So you, you try to put a few things on that phone that, oh, if they don't win, they'll cause problems because why can't you tell the people to follow a good fight? As the election commission chairman, close your damn mouth. And tell you, you call the both party in and give them a result. What is wrong for a good fight or, or lesser fight? You don't have to say anything. We have been in the election several times. You don't do that. So it's a big problem. Okay, okay. And so that's what the noise is all about. Yes. Because he, he made other people to rejoice. And I do, they won the election. For their good fight, he could lose. As he blow for high and lose. So suppose he lost and something happens. You don't do that.
Mr. Foley, what's going on here? As far as concerned, we don't have a result yet. We are waiting. We are still waiting. We don't have a result yet. And the community, one thing I want to know, that people to know, the community comes first. Whatever the result is, the community comes first. And we, we maintain that. Okay. So we want to see what the officials, what are you hearing? One of the commissions came out and said, you fight a good fight and the other team just started running around, assuming a one. But he was wrong though. He should have stayed out of it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the result. Are you hearing something speculation as well? Well, uh, what I'm just saying is that uh, people are just kind of confused because the, uh, the official result has not been put out yet. So people are just confused. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a confusion here. And uh, one uh, day, electoral commission, I think somebody came for in there and they are saying uh, you fought a good fight. And, but the, uh, uh, the bottom line is we can't declare anybody, we can't project to you right now who the winner is until we get the update from the electoral commission in the building. So as of now, it's speculation, and we don't we don't we don't dwell on speculation. Uh, but because voice is signed, it's a factual factual platform, so we believe in facts. If you don't have voice to sign, we'll have uh, the, the the speculation room. But in the context of voice to sign, when we say speculation room, that means the information. The only thing that is missing is the evidence. But as of now, we are not in the the speculation room of voice to sign, uh, so we can't make any prediction right now. We are waiting for the guys in the building right here. Well, let's let's see let's see let's see what's going on here. Uh, this is where the the, the, the boy is going. <laughs> he doing man. <laughs> and this is where all we're going to be going down tonight. I see. Uh, you see here. These are the names. Who's that? Okay. 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 So yeah, so this is uh, the precinct. We saw the electoral team in there. The guys are in there and making sure everything is okay, free and fair and transparent. Uh, we, I mean, uh, we're just waiting for what the guys, the big guys in there, will say. And you will see everything here on Voice of Sino. All right, so let, let's see. Uh, 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 and, a, and a prediction, and a prediction. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. But what I'm hearing around is that uh, the one called Siyendi, the other candidate, has emerged victorious. I don't know yet, but it's what one of the commissioners came out and said, you know, from what was tabulated. So I'm, I'm also clearing in mind because he would not be making any mistake. I'm clearing in mind that she, she is the victor of this race, and we are all happy. It's all about the community. All right, we see that our community is going to move forward. All right. But you, you believe the validity of that speculation? Um, yes, I do. I do believe it. Why is that so? Why? Because the one that provided the validity. Is a very firm person on the commission. All right, one of the commissioners. All right, and that's the reason why I gave my whole heart to it. All right, but if it goes to the contrary, which of course I don't think it will go to the contrary. All right, and we will still live with it. It's all about the community. Whoever wins. Do you have a candidate? Yes, I do. You care to tell? Oh, of course, of course. CND. CND is my choice. All right. Because of the worth of experience she has and everything she has done for the community. I believe that she will be a very, very awesome leader, an awesome person. What is her name? Joseph K. Zizi. Okay, thank you, boss, for talking to us. <laughs> Chief, uh, any projection? Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that my side will win. Say, Yondi, I'm optimistic that she's going to win. Until then, I'm waiting for the election commission to make the pronouncement, the commission chair to make that pronouncement. But I'm optimistic. We put in a whole lot of work, and we are very confident that Seyondi Sando is going to emerge victorious. So I'm optimistic. So your optimism is based on what again? It's based on the hard work okay. that we did.
we did a whole lot of hard work, and we are very optimistic within ourselves that she's going to win. So, but why, why are you supporting Messi Yande? Oh, uh, see, I'm supporting Seyonde because Seyonde and myself worked on a committee. She was a chair and I was a co-chair, the University of Liberia Convention, okay. 20, 20 committee. And that lady, even though it was a virtual committee, I mean a convention, but she was able to network, reach out to people, and were able to raise almost 70000 out of 60, some more thousand dollars. Virtual convention, the first in the history of Uliba, and we raise that much. So I know what Seyondi can do. She has been part of various organizations within the PA area, and I know that she can work very hard to bring people together. So, I mean, I supported her from the very beginning. No, who the other candidate came to me seeking my support. I told him that Seyondi is my preferred candidate, and I'm going to support her because I have worked with her, and I know what she can do. But in terms of gender platform, what is she running on? She, she, number one is inclusion. Our community has been divided for a long time. So any leader that should win these elections have a difficult task to bring the community together. And that's our number one agenda, to bring everybody together. Because when you bring people together and lead them, success is sure. Okay. Thank you, thank you, boss. Thank you. And that's the voice of the supporter of uh, May Seyonde over there. Uh, Chief, can, can you predict who's going to win the election? No, right now, I can't. I can't. Man. Okay, you can't make, uh, can make a prediction. Prediction, boss? Yeah, the Weber Foley is going to win the election. Uh, what, 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 are, what, what is your confidence based on? Well, the, 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 the amount of people we talked to that voted and came outside and told us that they voted for uh, Weber or, or Gawati. Okay, excellent. All right, all right. All right, all right. So, guys, we are just waiting for the re the results here. The results. Any prediction, boss man? No, I'm not in election. I don't know if you want to do it. You want to predict who's going to win? Fully got our team. Fully got our team. Our team. Because I'm out of my name, board of director on the fully got our team. Why do you think they will win? Because we're voting for a change. Okay. And your numbers, you turn out in a huge number today? Exactly. Okay. We keep fourth four. Everybody for that? Exactly. Everybody for that. Not everybody for that because we had a couple of people, people like for me, out of a big deal. I had like six persons that was on the ballot and they were voting. So that was so unfortunate. What is your name? Adam McNeil. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, we just getting people views here. Nothing major for now. We're waiting for the electoral team to uh, give us what's going on here. Uh, let's see what they think. We got Miss uh, Sayonde over there, and we got Wilbur Foley on the other side. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see how it goes. You know, let's see how it goes. We we all work, we all want the best for the community. And so whoever wins, uh, we, uh, we are good. We are good. It's all about the community. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm told this is the security officer for Mr. Yonder. Uh, how are you doing, boss? I uh, appreciate At uh, this time, there's no comments. And we'll wait for final eternity before we can speak. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, we respect that. that. That's fair enough uh, to make sure we get the official results before I uh, come to... So are you, are you the security officer for her? As we consider ourselves, we'll wait for the two calls before we speak. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm here. The behind the camera is the first lady of voice of Sino, uh, Miss Balayana Esoteric. Baby, let me, let me see here. We are here. Uh, Life. Yeah, it's a voice of sign in a diaspora. Yeah. All right, all right. So, got Mr. Tuasama, how you doing, boss? Welcome to Voice of Sino. Yes. How are you doing, Tia? How are you? Thank you, sir. You just got here? 
No, no, I've been here. I came earlier and I voted. And I'm also around to, you know, uh, as a community person, as an observer, also as a peacemaker as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, what, what is your prediction of the election? Honestly, I can't predict because I don't know what's happening in there. Uh, but it is my hope that whatever the outcome might be, that all of us will respect that and force ahead in the interest of our unity within our community. We have to be the example. You know, oftentimes we talk about back home, the that function back home and all the different things. But we should be different. It's about time that we learn to go by the books. Whoever win, let appreciate that person, let rally around that person, and let's not cry foul. Yeah, but it was speculated that you were supposed to be on the ballot. Yeah. Why are you not? Oh. Well, I was supposed to be on the ballot. I think you know that. I mobilized a lot. Uh, I raised a lot of money. I brought in a lot of people from all walks of life. But again, when the commissioner, electoral commissioner said that, uh, uh, that when I moved back to Pennsylvania, that I have not been here for over two years. I respected that decision, even though I have been here uh, by Drexel University. Let me see what I got here, baby. Yeah. Let's see what I got here. The, the update here. It's a result. The, the result that we are here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Come on. Uh, it's uh, guys who we we are the election results are coming up with the electoral team is coming up right now. Let, let's see what's going on in here. So the, the chairman of the electoral commission. Guys, 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 guys. 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 All right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we, do we have control over that? All right, so guys, we that the election the electoral commission is out right now, and uh, the re results for the Liberian Association of Pennsylvania. So, um, we like to take we like to take this time to thank all of the lab members who participated in this process today. This process started several years ago. In 2019, we have to go to court. From court, we have to make compromises, we have to sign MOU, we went through so many upheavals to reach to this point. But there is one thing I can say. We can walk out of this process as Pennsylvanian uh, 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 residents, as Pennsylvanian citizens, as uh, members of LAP, that we all did it together. Yes. I am of the strong opinion that the winners of this process are transitional leaders. They should have a, a mentality to reconcile a community. They should not have a winner-take-all mentality. And the result, as I'm looking at here, the result indicates that the people of this community wanted a unity. Yes. So people won from different camps and they pulled them together. Okay. So no one camp actually won 100%. Okay. So it shows that there was a drive for unity, and the result reflects that. So, with that much said, I'm going to go ahead and read the results. Okay. Yeah. Interestingly, the total number of persons that voted, 492. That, that was actually surprising to all of us when the tabulation came out, because we, reg we registered more than four. 1,400 people. Okay? Yeah. So, um, we had a situation where only 492 persons voted. So, I'm going to start to call the result because the day has been long. I have not eaten. Uh, I probably have not drank water. So, I'm going to start with the board candidate. So, for the board candidates, I'm not going to call all of the results, because there were too many candidates, I'm going to call them winners. The percentages, the total vote, all of that were posted in the chat room. 
We'll post it on social media. We'll post it on Spoon. Cause Henry Costa show. It will be all on the net. Okay. So I'm going to start with the nine board members that won. Francis Tokpa Blambo Jr. Yeah. Yeah. He got. He got. Guys, 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 please he got Gary. two two hundred and seventy five votes. Samuel Greaves. Samuel Greaves got 200, 205 votes. Elizabeth Harris. Elizabeth Harris got 231 votes. Afonso C.K. Horton. He got 273 votes. James Coyen. James Coyen got 250 votes. Bolu Kou, she got 245 votes. Christopher Swan yeah! got two, 200, 258 votes. Bati Tokpa, the Grand Old Two Week Party representative. Bati <laughs> Tokpa. He, he, he got um, 196 votes. And the last person is Josiah Yedu. Yeah! He got he got two hundred and thirty-four votes. That's a majority. For the coordinator, for the co for the coordinator, is Grace mine. She was contesting uh, on the post. Um, for the treasurer, Dagonti Williams got two hundred and thirty-three votes. For Marie, for, Ma for Marie Waller, she got 202 votes. So, Dagon T. Williams won. For the financial secretary, Emmanuel Davis ran on a post. He got 291 votes. For Stephen Togba, he ran on a post. He got 267 votes. Didn't call it title, assistant. assistant secretary, yeah, assistant secretary general. Okay, so um, the secretary general, Jerry S. Cole, he ran on the post. He got two, three hundred and seven votes. For the president and vice president, this is the big one. Um, Forde, Gawe, Emma Gawe. Got 221 votes. Seyondi T. Kumata, Sano Johnson, got 269 votes. So, so, so Seyondi, 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 so, so, Seyondi, Seyondi Sano Johnson, I the winner for the president and vice president. So, guys, guys, guys. So, oh, 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 guys, guys, please. These results, these results, these results are considered. These results are considered preliminary results. Tomorrow Sunday, we are going to issue. A written tabulation um, in a press release and sign it, that will be considered the final result. Uh, no, we're, we're just, no, no, it's a long process. We are going to have a program that will then print the certificate and, and, and present it. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, that you, um, yeah. uh, Chairman of the Electoral Commission. Where is Sandy? Yeah, so we. We 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 are we just got the results from the the, the chairman from the electoral electoral commission. So, so, so Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, what 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 the, the low turnout? What, what is the the, the the cause of that? Um, personally, I would say part of the reason we've been through many crises. So I think there is a low level of confidence in this association. So many people went out to recruit people to vote 
and they pay for these people. These people were not paying, most of them were not paying money out of their pocket. So they didn't have the drive to come to vote. Okay? So that reflects that, yes, different camps register many people, but because there is a low level of confidence in the performance of this association over here, that, that is part of the response of why the turnout is very low. Okay, yeah. right, Chairman, let's let talk to the, the Victoria. Uh, Mara, say, Andy, how are you? I'm fine. How do you feel right now? I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, what, what does the victory mean? <laughs> A whole lot. It means that the people of Pennsylvania are ready. Are ready to move up to another level. And I'm glad that we are all here. I'm happy. I, I, everybody will work together. I am going to invite the, the Galway team, we do want team to work along with us. I'm sure they have a lot to offer. We are willing to work with everybody. Now there's no more campaign, there's no more size. We are one. I'm happy. Thank you. Okay, so where's the campaign headquarters for the celebration? The push. Miss now we'll now that later. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, okay. All right. All right, so let's see. Let's have that talk to Mr. Maybe, yeah, that, that's where I'm going now. So, let it, Mr. Foley, what do you make of the results, man? How do you feel? Well, the result came in. It's not what we expected. There were irregularities, but the community comes first. So, we are going to accept the result and move forward. We are not going. There were a lot of irregularities. I told you there were 34 names added. Today, we are our knowledge. Those are those were names of people who were registered after the deadline. They added it today at four one o'clock, and I can tell you if you look at the margin, it's I mean it's very slim. It's very slim. And imagine adding to the four names. You like insisting that you add to the four names on the day of the election, unknown to me. We only found out when the election was going on. Nevertheless, our community comes first, so we will accept it and move forward. We don't want no problems. I will congratulate uh, Ms. Sandy Kofa. I will offer my uh, my assistance and expertise. If there's anything I can do, I'm available. This is the, this is our community. Our community comes first, and we are not going to have any problem. What, what message do you have for your supporters? Take heart. That's the process. You don't always get what you want. Come back and fight harder the next time. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bagu. Good job. Good job. Good fight. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, Weber Foley over there. Uh, that's uh, Weber, Weber Foley over there. And are you seeing uh, Mace uh, Sayande is the uh, victor in this uh, presidential election? Uh, Pennsylvania, yeah, you can see it. Uh, the candidates, the two contestants are together. Right there, there. Uh, uh, Wilbur Foley and Mr. Yandy over there holding hands. They put the community first. Uh, that's a good battle. That's what we need in, in our community. This is what we need. We want to see it. the people when somebody wins the election. Uh, the two candidates, they, they embrace it. It's a good example. Those of us in the, in the diaspora, in the United States specifically, we got to set that good example. This is very good. That's a good. It's very good. All right, so the security officer here. Uh, <laughs> you can see, guys, this is uh, this is uh, it's a movement, the movement that you want to witness. Uh, congratulations to uh, the team. <laughs> All right, the people are doing like a photo shoot right now. Like, <laughs> Mr. Yande, the people said I want a veteran speech for you. I had a veteran speech for all. All right, so it says since uh, the organization was established, 
long time ago in the 70s. You see the security guy here is uh <laughs> hey, how you doing? I want to send you the financial officer. Uh, I'm the treasurer. Treasurer, right? Yes. How do you feel? I feel I'm so excited. I don't know how to even express myself. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> why should we tr Why should we trust you with our money? Because I'm very transparent. Give us a little background of have you served in our, uh, that department before? Uh, no, I have never served in that department, but I am a business owner. I own two businesses, and I manage my finances well. And with the same process, I'll be able to manage this association for uh, finances. And rest assured that your finances are safe with me. And I'm never going to let, allow anything happen to your finances. With great pleasure, I'm happy to serve in a brand. Yeah, but do you have a background in finance? Uh, not at all. I don't have a background in finances, but one thing I can show you, I came in the country five years ago with nothing, and I have made a good need for myself. I started from scratch in a bit of hotel business, in the business, and a hookah lounge. So with that same determination, I am going to, sorry, I am going to keep the uh, community uh, funds well. All right, congratulations. Wish you well. All right. All right, so guys, then you have is the treasurer, the treasurer over there for the Liberian Association of Pennsylvania. I know Voices Sano, uh, we cover everything, we cover everything. Let's see, let's see the board. The inclusion will have to be the priority of the leadership. So be on the board, we'll make sure that the government will be a government of inclusion to make sure that it's not going to be a zero sum theory. It's going to be a government inclusion. We're going to incorporate even the loser and winner to make the community move forward because we have been through a lot. A lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. So there you have it. There you have it. I mean, the board member over there. What, what, what's your position? What? what? I ran for board at once. Oh, your board member? Yes, I am a board So what, what should we anticipate? Oh, well, we anticipate a great board. We anticipate a lot of things going to change on that board. As we are coming in, we want the first thing that I want to see change on the board is a lab constitution. I wanted to change a lot of clause in there, but we know we come with great experiences on the board and we are trying to start it. so today we're going to use this day to tell our community member thank you for coming out tell the lab officials that our past official thank you and we are here we just want to jubilate and celebrate thank you very much all right guys so ladies and gentlemen as a voice of sino here uh this uh, we just uh, talk to bring you the election the election results from the liberian association of pennsylvania presidential election you just got your winner mr yande is the victor Thank you so much for joining Voice the Tano. I want to say thank you. Enjoy the rest of the night. Share the show and keep following us. Thank you so much.